Hi, everybody. Uh, nice to see you again. Welcome to another Let's Talk uh, with myself, Shirley, from Following the Yellow Brick Road. And I hope that you'll enjoy our topic tonight. Uh, it came to me last night as we were sitting around, uh, just five of us in a group, just uh, sitting around in the evening and talking about different things, um, old music, things that we remembered from our past, uh, some of the, the crazy things that um, we experienced that kids today will never experience. And I thought it would just really be a good topic for tonight's live chat. And I hope that you will enjoy it as well. I encourage each one of you to um, participate and throw something out there for us to talk about because this is just a, a lot of fun. And I, I want you to enjoy it and let me argue that for myself. So, um, oh, a little glitch there. But anyway, uh, just let me say hello to everybody that's on here so far. Uh, we have Marilyn Decker. Thank you for coming and joining in. I really appreciate it. And Jim from Totally Relaxed. Uh, Jim, I hope your weather is getting a little bit better there in Texas. I know you've had a really rough time. It's been really windy here. Um, last night we had to tear down our whole camp and put everything away. Uh, the winds got up to gust of 57 miles per hour last night. And um, it was a little hairy. The trailers were rocking, needless to say. So um, we felt a little bit of your pain, but nothing like what you're going through with your electric situation. And there's uh, Sherry from Fantastic Travels. Hi, Sherry. Nice to see you. Um, where are you at right now? What's going on with you? Um, I've seen some of your shorts, but I, I haven't um, been able to watch a video lately. So let me know what you're up to. Um, some days here is here moderating for us again. Um, Daryl's really good at catching comments that I might happen to miss. So, uh, he is my moderator. If you, um, really need for me to see something, make sure that Daryl picks up on it too. Um, there's Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Um, Kelly's a regular on our show as well as Jim. Co4 for life. Nice to see you on tonight. Um, appreciate you coming on. Um, I hope everything is, um, going okay for you. I know you've been going through some personal uh, experiences, but uh, you're always in our thoughts and we hope to see you again someday soon. Oh, Jim says it's 70 degrees finally where he lives in Houston. So that's really great. And uh, there's Empath Embracing Life. Hi, Amy. How are you tonight? Glad to see you here. And there's Kevin. Hey, Kevin and Dawn is on here. Yep, terrible winds last night for sure. Um, Kevin and Don had their clam up, um, and they were going to do a wind test, and guess what won? <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, let's see. Shauna Tippetts uh, from Las Vegas. Hi. Um, we are camp near you in Yuma. Oh, well, Shauna, come by and say hello uh, if you see my Airstream. And my blue truck sits behind it. So come on by and say hi. I would love to meet you. Um, let's see. Who else? Sandy. There's Sandy. Hi. Thanks for joining. Hope you and Doug are um, doing well over there this evening. It's just been a really windy day. Here's Life is a Joy. They're in our group as well. Uh, camp just right over here beside me. Um, they could bring their bus over a little bit further would be a great wind block for me. <laughs> um, yeah, nasty winds. Um, all right. So let's see. Some of the things that we were talking about last night were, uh, and kind of what got this started was the other day we were listening to some music and uh, just some old songs from the past. And I had mentioned one of my favorite songs was a song by Melanie. And that is, I've got a brand new pair of roller skates. You got a brand new key. And that just got us talking about 
things from the past. You know, how many of you um, ever had skates with four wheels that you strapped onto your tennis shoe and and uh, skated on the sidewalk? That's that's what we did, uh, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, that was how we spent our afternoons a lot of times and early evenings before uh, we had to go to bed. We had a, a hill near our house and my brother and I would, you know, walk up the hill, strap on our skates and just skate on down that hill and around the corner and up by our house. And it was really a lot of fun. Uh, we also had a go-kart that my dad had fashioned. Uh, which was just basically some boards uh, with some wheels on it and a rope uh, to steer the wheels. And we would get up there on the uh, top of uh, Prince Avenue and ride that thing all the way down to Market Street. And we just had a blast. So those are the kinds of things that we're talking about. Things that you remember when you were a kid. Yes, Jim, absolutely. When you were a kid, you were the TV remote. Do y'all remember that? Um, go change the channel. Turn the volume up. Turn the volume down. Adjust that rabbit ear a little bit. No, go left. No, go right. It was just, it was amazing. You know, those parents just sat in their chairs and the kids got up and took care of it. So it was really, really um, a time to remember. And Marilyn says, mom has her roller skates with the key. Yeah, that, that's just something to hold on to. Those are treasures, I'll tell you. Yep. Yeah, um, car. All right. What kind of car, Kevin? Oh, is Bobby and Sharon? Oh, hey, hey, Bobby and Sharon. Nice to see you on here. Glad you could stop by this evening and join in the fun with us. Um, so, so what's some of the things that you guys remember, uh, until I see some things, I'll just be kind of naming things off. Sandy says, hi, all this wind is terrible. Hope everyone is enjoying watching Shirley. Thank you. Um, and if you would, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you have fun with this, I'd really appreciate it. And if uh, you're someone who hasn't subscribed to my channel already, Hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell so you'll know when I put up a new video. Um, let's see. And Nomadic Ramblers is saying, and no car seat belts. That's for sure. And speaking of no car seat belts, Sharon, do you remember um, having car seats for your kids? They were ridiculous. Um, just a little metal strap that hooked over the front seat, which was a bench seat at the time. Um, and it had a little, just a little seat that the kids sat in and a strap between their legs. And that was their car seat. I don't know how some of them ever lived through those times, but they did. And, and we all did, you know, and many of us drank out of the hose, right? And we still live to tell about that today. So it, it's amazing when you think about all of the things that we did as kids and, and how we survived, um, don't forget the tinfoil on the antenna. Absolutely, Daryl. That's that's really funny because if your antenna wasn't working really well, you added a little tinfoil and you could bend it and put it wherever you needed it to go. It was really something. Hey, inside. Uh, well, it's inside Bob and inside Sharon. All right. So we have both inside and outside Bob. That's good to know. Uh, AM radio in the old Ford Fairlane. Yep. AM radio. That's all you had back in those days. You didn't have FM. Um, and a lot of the times those cars back then, remember, had push buttons that you pushed. There, were, there weren't a lot of dials except for turning it on for the volume. Uh, but the stations were push button. So it was really funny. <coughs> Uh, running through the clothes on the clothesline. Amen, Kelly. And boy, um, you could get your butt spanked for that one. <laughs> um, we, there was um, there was seven of us kids, but actually, um, as as they got more, the more kids, you know, you, the older ones left. So we'd have anywhere from five to seven kids at a time. If you had that many kids running through your clean clothes on the clothesline, mama was coming out that back door with a switch. <laughs> so it, it was really something, but really fun times. Do you, I don't know. To me, growing up as a child, 
I, I have such fond memories of the way that we grew up and the things that we did. Um, let's see. So, uh, who has rode in the back window? Uh, well, I know at least one. <laughs> um, you can tell that story, Daryl. Party lines. Yes, Karen. We talked about party lines the other night. Uh, and especially out in the country where my grandparents live. Uh, you know, if you wanted to call in and talk to your mom or whatever, you'd pick up the phone and there'd be two, two ladies, um, who lived on nearby farms and they'd be talking and talking and talking and talking. And so you'd quietly try to hang up the phone and go back about 10 or 15 minutes later and they'd still be talking and you'd go back another 30 minutes later and they'd still be talking <laughs> and you just had to wait your turn. It was, um, a totally different time and you had to show respect to those people you know as a youngster you weren't allowed to um, make any comments that were not respectful because you certainly got in trouble for it um, let's see homemade skateboard down the street Kevin absolutely um, my dad made us skateboards out of a board and um, he took those roller skates apart and that's what we use for wheels um, and we never really had a bought and skateboard. We, we had homemade ones. Um, you have any accidents on yours? I can remember my brother falling a few times, but never really breaking any bones or anything like that. Um, let's see, running from the backyard to the neighbors with no fences. Yeah, but only if you knew them and your families were in... Um, a good compatible relationship with one another. We, I lived in a neighborhood where we had that and you could, you could run the whole block almost through everybody's backyard and, and no one would ever say anything to you because we were close back then. Um, in the evenings, my family used to set, um, my dad, my brother and I lived at my grandparents' house and my aunt lived in the house right next door. So in the evenings after dinner, we would take our lawn chairs in the summertime and sit out in the yard between the two houses because it was nice and shady. And it was close enough to the street. You know, you could see your neighbors and say hello and talk to everybody. And everyone took walks down the street. And, you know, we just uh, were friendly with one another. You know, you'd take dishes over when somebody was sick or whatever. Um, and it was just a good time to live. Let's see. Playing until after dark, after supper. Yeah, but um, once those street lights came on, I don't know about you, but I had to be home. When the street lights came on, you better get your butt in your yard. Um, because that was just that you would be punished. Um, and you would go straight to bed if you weren't in the yard on time. So, yeah, absolutely. Warming up the old tube TV. <laughs> yeah. And uh, how many times have you ever seen your parents or a TV repairman come in and have to replace the tubes in the TV? Um, it was really something to watch. Um, we've, we've had a TV repairman a couple of times, you know, for tubes that you couldn't go down to the local store and, and just buy. They were just special tubes that only the repairman would have. Um, and a lot of times they would get you to, you know, stand in front of the TV and tell them if the picture was on or, or whatever. And everybody knew your business if you got in trouble. They all knew it. Isn't that the truth? Absolutely, Sharon. That's, um, wow. Yeah. When you live in a small town and you're that close, everyone knows everything about everybody. And, uh, it can sometimes be detrimental, but most of the time, back in those times, it was good. Not having to lock your doors. Isn't that the truth? Um, yeah. And, you know, you didn't have to worry about your bicycle. We parked our bicycles on the porch every night and got up the next morning and they were still there. So it was an amazing time to be alive. Uh Kevin says, station wagons with no seat belts and the seat all the way in the back facing backwards. Yep. My mom had one of those. And we used to set like three of us kids in that very back seat, the smaller ones, of course. And the bigger ones, you know, the older you were, the more forward you got to ride in the car. Um, and then that's something like, um, you know, give me a sentence, sentence that kids today wouldn't even understand. Like, um, 
roll the window down or roll the window up. <laughs> um, so no accidents. Okay. Well, that's good to hear. So true. Sharon um, says some days here, everyone told your parents everything. And exactly. We never locked the door. Yep. The milkman, Kelly, that's a really good one. Um, hadn't thought about that in a while. We used to have a milkman that would come and bring um, half gallon bottles of milk in glass bottles. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and the cream was on top and it was just really good milk. And we'd get like six half gallon bottles twice a week in our house with all those kids. So, yeah. Catching lightning bugs. Absolutely. That was an incredible thing. Um, I, I don't see many kids doing that nowadays, but in Florida, we don't have them. Uh, so I always like to point them out to my grandkids when we go uh, back home to Missouri. It's just a lot of fun. One of those childhood memories you never forget. Hi, Sue. Glad to see you here. Uh, we're just talking about good old times and um, things that we remember from our childhood and growing up. Thrifty's ice cream. That's good. We had... Um, we didn't have a Thrifty's ice cream. We had a Dairy Queen and we also had Bud's Golden Cream. And they were right across the highway from one another. And um, actually, in the beginning years, Bud's ice cream sold much more than the Dairy Queen in our hometown. But eventually, um, Bud got old and went out of business. And then the Dairy Queen picked up more customers. So, yeah ice cream for sure. And that was such a treat. We'd all um, get in. Uh, at the time, my stepdad had a truck. And so my mom and stepdad would take us out to the Dairy Queen. Uh, well, you can only fit so many in the cab of a truck unless it's raining. And then we piled in like sardines. And uh, But otherwise, us kids rode in the back of the pickup truck. And we just, you know, sat down on the bed and that's how we rode. There, there were no seats. There were no seat belts. And we never fell out of the truck. <laughs> we lived to tell it. Um, let's see. Yeah, like, let's see. Life is a joy. So when dad wanted us girls to clean the house, he would take one of the TV tubes to work with him. That's hilarious. Um, that's one way to um, get you away from the TV for sure. It's not going to work until that tube's back. Um, let's see. Hey, do you remember swinging so high on the swing set? It'd make one corner come off the ground. Yeah, yeah, um, for sure. And my brother would always, you know, try to swing so high that he he wanted to try to go over the swing set. Thankfully, that never happened. But he was really a daredevil for sure. Remember, the national anthem was played every night when the TV station went off for the night. Yeah, Don was actually talking about that the other night, how, um, how the national anthem played. And then you'd have that, um, that service message on there, and then it would go dark. And um, Don says there was a little dot that she used to follow, 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 until you just couldn't see it anymore. So that, that's always fun to remember those kinds of things. And then there's always those uh, emergency broadcast system messages and the tests that they did. Those used to drive me crazy. Um, hullabaloo on TV. Absolutely, Jim. And another one is uh, American Bandstand. I used to love to watch American Bandstand. That was just a lot of fun. Um, let's see. Welcome to everybody. I totally forgot about the Coke bottles and returning them for 15 cents on a two liter bottle. Absolutely. And who's had a bag phone? Me? Who else has had a bag phone? Um, that was my very first uh, mobile phone. And at the time it was Bell South Mobility um, there in Jacksonville. Uh, my father-in-law had a bag phone, Kelly says. Uh, and Karen's saying thank you. And uh, bread delivery, I saw, I missed that one. Sorry, Marilyn. Yeah, bread delivery. Um, I don't think we had any directly to our door, um, but you might have. Where did you, where did you grow up at, Marilyn? That's interesting. The good, good humor man, the ice cream man. Yeah, always. Um, American bandstand, returnable bottles, drinking out of the same water hose. 
wing windows in oh that's so funny wing windows yeah do you remember in the front there was wings um that you you could put in to bring more air into the front of the car um they were really nice i miss those actually let's see did i miss anybody else daryl uh, diaper services uh don says yeah there used to be trucks that would come and pick up diapers and wash them and bring them back and um I washed all mine uh, myself, though. Never, never had the money for the diaper service. Um, in my younger days, we were not uh, very well equipped financially. And green stamps, absolutely green stamps, and we had S and H stamps. I, is that the same? Green stamps, S and H stamps. I think it kind of is. Um, and then one of the other stores in town had uh, top value stamps. And you could, you know, trade those in on merchandise after you got so many of them. So it was kind of fun. My mom collected those for years and years. Um, in Oklahoma, they played the Lord's Prayer with an Indian chief doing sign language at the end of the broadcasting day. Oh, that's so cool. Um, I don't know. I just, I love Indian heritage and things like that. Just, um, they kind of touch me. So thank you for filling us in on that. Um, nomadic ramblers. Oh my gosh, yes. One did. did I miss something? Sometimes these things get going. Yeah, the stamps. And um, I lose track of where we're at. Um, I hated washing out the diapers. <laughs> um, oh, Marilyn, you're in Ontario. Oh my gosh. Wow. So bread delivery there. That's that's a pretty cool thing. Uh the only time I can ever remember a bread delivery was uh, when my first husband and I were in the Azores, um, which is, uh, belongs to Portugal, uh, but it's an island about 800 miles off the coast of Portugal. And the local people there would um, walk down the street. They'd have the big um, wooden bar with baskets hanging on the end. Uh, and they would have fruit. And then there was a guy that came every morning about 530 um, down through uh, the street. And he had a little cart with bread. And that was some really good bread if you caught him while it was good and fresh and still a little bit warm. Uh, it was delicious bread. So, yeah. Um, okay. Dice hanging from the mirror in the car. Absolutely. I love fuzzy dice. Uh, Kevin saying Kmart blue light specials. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Boy, you had to get, uh, if you were clear at the other end of the store and they announced that a blue light special, you had to hurry up and get there because they really didn't last very long. Um, Sears catalogs, the original Amazon, isn't that the truth? And the Woolworth Diner. Absolutely, Sherry. We had a Woolworth in my hometown and, um, yeah, there was a diner along one side of the store and you go shop for a while and then sit down and have some lunch. Uh, it was really a nice place to eat, too, and the meals were pretty cheap. Um, and the food was really good. Um, let's see. I remember those Kevin Sears catalog, Nomadic Ramblers. I may or may not still have dice hanging. That's that's funny. I actually have a set of fuzzy dice. Uh, they're not really fuzzy, but um, I have them tucked in a box back home, but I never have put them in the truck. Um, let's see. My girls taught me, all of my grandkids, to play jacks. Yep, yep. I used to play jacks as a kid, too. Um, yeah, that's a lot of fun. Um, I don't think there's many girls left anymore that knows how to play jacks. Uh, we had a silver Christmas tree with the colored light that went around. That's so funny, Kelly. Um, my mom, for for many years, was allergic to live trees. And so we had one of those silver trees with the color wheel. And um, that's what we had for many years until she got older and went through menopause. And then her allergies cleared up and went away and we could have a live tree again. So it was pretty cool. Um, Sharon says, I love playing jacks. And uh, how many of you uh, women had an Easy Bake Oven? And how many of the guys had uh, G.I. Joe's? Uh, that's, that's something that I can remember. And, 
you know what I what I really remember too from my brother was Tonka trucks, um, Tonka graders, Tonka this, Tonka that. My brother had quite a collection of Tonka um, vehicles and, and the dump truck in particular. And so when my son was born, um, I was able to get him a metal Tonka truck. But when my grandsons were born, they're now plastic, and it's just really heartbreaking because those things lasted forever forever in fact my brother passed his tonka trucks down to his son so that's just the the way that they made things back then and boy he played with them he he um he wasn't light on his toys um and he had erector sets he was really very good with building that kind of thing and um who who all had electric train sets we we loved to play with the electric trains uh, playing with jacks, those were the best days. Used to go over Friday when the folks bowled. Yeah, loved to go bowling. Uh, my grandparents had a cistern in an outhouse when I was young. Absolutely. Uh, my grandparents had outhouses. They always lived out in the country. And so when you stayed at Grandma and Grandpa, she had to use the outhouse in the middle of the night, even in the winter when it was cold. Uh, but my grandmother, my great-grandmother, uh, didn't have running water in her house. Uh, she lived over in Jacksonville, Illinois. And she had the, um, you know, pump in the kitchen where you had to pump the water from the well. And uh, you had a, a wash bowl that sat underneath there. Uh, but that's how she got her water to cook and her water to clean. And um, there wasn't a, a real bathroom in the house. Upstairs in her bedroom, she had a washstand with a bowl and a pitcher, and um, she'd take the water up. And at night, you used a chamber pot when you had to go to the bathroom. Um, and that's just the way it was back then. Life is a joy. We love playing jacks. Those were the best of days. Hopscotch. Absolutely. That was fun. Um, I love playing hopscotch. Spent many, many hours doing that as a kid. And, and I'll bring this up because my kids laugh at me every time I say it. But my brother and I used to sit out in the front yard by the tree and play mumbly peg. Now, how many of you even know what mumbly peg is? I'd be curious to see. Um, some here at Life is Joy, my brother fell into the cistern. Oh, no. The neighbor caught him and pulled him out. And the boy, was he in trouble? We had been warned <laughs> not to play near it. Yeah. Yeah, because that, that can be pretty nasty, uh, and they can be dangerous, too. Does anyone remember paper dolls? Absolutely. Uh, I lost that. Hang on. Paper dolls. Yep. Um, and Twister. Yeah. Played Twister a few times. That was a hard game to play, though, actually. And had an easy bake oven. Sherry had an easy bake oven. Um platform shoes <laughs> those things were horrible they could kill you <laughs> white wall tires yeah uh don had an easy bake oven and the original barbie dolls um yeah marilyn had an easy bake oven until my brother melted crayons in it oh my goodness that's so funny um <laughs> those brothers they could really ruin a good thing couldn't they um jellies yep jellies for sure how about captain kangaroo and uh ranger andy after school yeah and how many of you ever watched the lone ranger in the afternoon um yeah for sure and shows like bonanza love that show and gilligan's island how about that one um and then of course let's see and then of course i'm gonna change screens here a second um, there was the Ed Sullivan show where we first saw the Beatles. What was that in about 1960, what, 67, 69, something like that. Yep. Um, absolutely fell in love with the Beatles from the very first time I saw them on the Ed Sullivan show. So yeah, um, just some good times. Um, yikes at Maryland. Actual phone booths. Yeah. 
<laughs> you don't see those anymore, do you? You don't even see the little phones on the poles sitting around anymore. Um, it's very rare to see one. Uh, let's see. Kim says, Dawn paper towels were my, paper dolls were my favorite. We used to make the clothes out of paper and we bought our granddaughter some and she loves them. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. They were a lot of fun. You could make your own dresses and designs and put them on your dolls. And, um, uh, it was pretty cool. May or not have played Twister Truck. That's hilarious, Sue. I would have loved to have seen that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, Sharon says she had an easy bake oven. Um, I, I had one for a while, but my sisters got to take it over, and um, they played with it more than me. Uh, let's see. I'm missing some stuff here. Mumbly peg with a knife. Absolutely, Jim. Um my kids just don't even believe there was really a game called Mumbly Peg. So it's really kind of fun, funny in my family whenever I bring it up. Candy cigarettes. Yep. Yep. And do you remember they used to actually blow a little powder out the end of them? It was really kind of funny. We made forts out of car cardboard boxes. Sigs called for life. You know, sometimes cardboard boxes just make the best toys in the world. Um, my youngest daughter loved building little houses out of cardboard boxes. It was just a lot of fun. Uh, ever played spin the bottle? Um, I don't think I really ever did. Cigarette machines. Yep. That's for sure. You don't see those anymore. Stretch Armstrong and what Super Bowl and Super Bowl. I was just looking at Super Bowl, um, on a Facebook post earlier today. And it's really funny. Um, yep. Uh, Lucky Dog Production Monitors, LOL. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think I caught up there. Um, let's see. My father has a train set from the year he was born in 1934. And the grand and great-grandchildren are so fascinated by it. Yeah, I wish I still had my brother's train set. Um, it was it was a lot of fun. It was one of those little Lionel uh, train sets that uh, made the smoke as the engine went around the track. We used to have a lot of fun with that thing. Uh, we made forts. Yeah, I read that. Mobley peg. Yes, Grandma had a washstand and soap and a bowl of water. And there was also a bucket of water and a community ladle. Yeah, and then you drank out of the uh, ladle. Uh, and building card houses. Yeah, and playing cards. We used to play cards a lot in our family. Um, especially on the weekends, uh, my aunt and uncle would come over and my grandparents and my dad and my aunt and uncle would sit and play cards for hours and hours and hours. Uh, they'd play rummy. They played Jim rummy. They played pinochle. Pinochle was never a learn, a, a game that I learned how to play. It was just over my head. I could never really figure it out. Uh, may or may not have played spin the bottle drunk. Ha <laughs> ha. I better shut up now. That's so funny, Sue. Um, I'm learning some things about you tonight. That's really funny. Uh, Kevin says when traveling, counting different state plates or the alphabet off of the billboards. Absolutely. Um, those were games that we played as kids too. We used to have a little bingo card, uh, with stuff like that, you know, railroad crossing, California license plate, um, a barn, a this or that, you know, and, and we played bingo like that in the car and it kept us busy. The Mickey Mouse Club. <clears throat> Who doesn't remember the Mickey Mouse Club? That was lots of fun when I was a kid growing up. Um, thanks for that memory, Dawn. Cardboard boxes were the best entertainment. Absolutely. Hee haw. <laughs> Hee haw. That was a really funny show. Um, and how about um, Green Acres? That was pretty funny, too. Um, rolling on the floor. Yeah, Sherry. Um, Sue is being really funny tonight. Okay, so the Beatles were in 64. Um, where'd that go? Uh, let's see. Oh, hey, we can intervene. Nice to see you. Oh, the Beatles were in 63. Thank you, Jim. Um Nice to see you, James and Millie. Hope everything is going okay there in Oklahoma. Um, I hope that snow is gone. Um, did you sell any cars, James? 
uh, Kevin said the Twilight Zone. Man, that show used to just freak me out. Um, it came on around 7.30 because they were only half hour shows back then. And my bedtime was 8 o'clock. And um, my bedroom was up on the second floor. So, and my brother, oh, that brother, um, he would always manage to sneak out uh, right before the show was over and the TV got turned off um, and he would sneak up to the top of the steps and he would hide somewhere so that when I got up to the top of the steps, he'd jump out and try to scare me. And of course, I almost, you know, fell down the steps. Um, I, I learned to hold on to the banisters as I walked up the steps because I knew he was going to be up there somewhere. I just didn't know where. Um, so yeah, that, that show freaked me out. Um, everybody saying hello. Uh, got to pick up packages. Good. Um, do you have more coming? Or I think you've got some coming for a few days now, don't you? Um, packages are always, always something in our life. I've got one coming from a sister-in-law. I mailed out uh, birthday cards um, Monday that I thought was going to be late, but my daughter actually got hers today on her birthday and she had a really wonderful day at work. And so she really had a great birthday. So I was glad it got there on time. Um, creature feature. Yeah, those were something else. Now my brother enjoyed those. That was not something that was up my alley, but, and Alvira, <laughs> Alvira. Yeah. Who doesn't remember her? Um, let's see, Weekend RV and saying hello to people. Money. Slinkies. Yeah, Slinkies. Um, they're, they were a lot of fun. Um, my grandparents had a, like a, a, a winding little staircase and I'd get at the top of the stairs and get the Slinky to go all the way down. If you placed it just right, it would go down, um, the stairs perfectly. I loved it. Marbles. Yep haven't played marbles in years though I don't know that I'd even know the rules anymore um, I say put kids today in a room with a rotary phone and old console TV <laughs> wax soda candy transistor radios a garden hose and a chamber pot and see what they do there's content that's hilarious Don yeah uh, they wouldn't even know what some of those things even are um, that's the funny part about it it was, um, was quite the thing in the day. So uh, I, yeah, I don't think they'd understand how to dial on a rotary phone even. Um, and console TVs, do you remember that? And then stereos. Do you remember how big those huge stereos were? Um, it was like a huge piece of furniture, probably three and a half to four feet long. Um, and about, I don't know what, maybe 30 inches high with like a turntable and a speaker in it. What the heck? Um, but those were quite the deal back then. And my mom had, you know, the big console TV and the big stereo in the living room taking up so much space. It was crazy. Um, and you know what I remember most was the tickle fights that we used to have on the living room floor. To me, that was the best one. It wasn't all about watching TV, but it was tickle fights and then uh, sometimes when there was a really good movie on, mom would pop a bunch of popcorn for us and we'd all sit down and watch the movie and um, just enjoy family time together. It was pretty great. The Sunday paper with comic strips, absolutely. Comics aren't the same as they used to be, that's for sure. Let, let me go back some. My Three Sons, absolutely. Love that show. Um, how about I Dream of Jeannie? That was another good one. And, and does anybody remember Hazel? Um, I used to love that show. That was really funny, in my opinion. And Dennis the Menace. Dennis the Menace was hilarious. Um, <coughs> who didn't have a brother like Dennis the Menace? Let's see. Um, okay. There is a trend I see with Lucky Dog Productions moderator playing games. Yeah. Yeah, we're learning things about Sue. Um... I'm so glad I grew up when I did. We played with our cousins while our parents visited. And now people don't even know where their cousins are. And that's very true. Um, I have a large family and lots of cousins. And 
I really don't even, you know, see them or know them anymore. And it wasn't until last year I got to meet, uh, again, one of my cousins that um, lived in California that I hadn't seen for like 48 years and was able to reconnect with Teresa for a little while. And we reminisced for a while. It was really a great time. And now we're connected on Facebook. So, you know, it's nice to be able to keep up with your cousins. Um, Sue says, ha ha, Sherry, I may not, may or may not have exaggerated a bit. I'm not really sure. <laughs> um, hey James, is James in here? I didn't see him. Um, hello James, glad to see you there. I'm glad, um, uh, that you're here and I'm sorry that I missed you. Uh, the Sunday paper of the comic strips for sure, Kevin. Um, let's see. Life is a joy. I'd forgot about the dial-up internet. <laughs> I can still hear that thing ring. <laughs> that was really ir an irritating noise, wasn't it? Um, yeah, showing your age for sure. Drive-in theaters. Oh my gosh, I sure wish they'd bring those back. Those were just tremendous times, weren't they? Um, in the summertime, you could just set out and... Um, roll that window down, a nice breeze going through the car. It was a great way for families. You know, you paid two bucks for a whole car full of kids and two parents. And, um, you know, at intermission, you got to go to the, um, the concession stand and get some popcorn or soda or whatever. And we, we were in hog heaven. And the one that we had, excuse me, <coughs> um, even had a playground for the smaller kids. Um, and back then, you know, kids would just get out of the car and go to the playground. And the parents knew where they were. Nobody bothered them. And um, when it got dark, you know, one of the other siblings would go and bring them back to the car. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> it's been so dusty. It's, uh, I don't know, inside the trailer and uh, it's making me cough. So please excuse me for that. I'm Sorry. Two Dixie cups on a string. That's hilarious. Remember, you go outside um, in a treehouse. It was great. Um, yeah. Felix the cat and his bag of tricks. And um, yeah. And how about uh, Bugs Bunny and the Roadrunner? Um, those were some great ca cartoons. Tom and Jerry. Loved Tom and Jerry. Those things were absolutely fantastic. Uh, life is joy. I forgot about the dial-up. Let's see. If it likes a cat. Two Dixie cups. Uh, Viewmaster. Uh -huh. That's that's taking us back ways. Um, and then slides. Do you remember um, everybody used to get their film developed into slides and you'd have the little slide projector and you had the screen to show the slides on. And then came the um, 8 millimeter m movie cameras. And Kevin and I were talking about this the other day. <coughs> My dad had one and he took a bunch of home movies, which I have in my possession now, along with this camera and the lights and the projector and the screen. I've just, I've not really taken the time to get them all out and sit there and watch those movies. And, you know, those are a lot of my childhood. Uh, when we go down to the cave or go to the park for a picnic, um, days where families used to actually pack a basket and go to the park and have a picnic. How often does that even happen anymore? <clears throat> so, yeah. Great days. Um, Hazel was my favorite. I also love Petticoat Junction. Yep. Hazel was great. Um, let's see. We still have drive-in theaters. Um they're, hopefully they're better there than they are uh, around where I live. They weren't of the best reputation. Let's let's put it that way. There might be drive-in theaters, but they weren't the best reputation. Um, let's see. We still have them in Texas. What are those things called? It was like a mini slide projector that you held up. Yeah, it was like um, a view master. You're right. Um they had the little round disc with the pictures in them and you could click it and see the next picture. They were a lot of fun. And you could get different discs um, to go with it and, and get quite a collection of them. I had probably 20 or 25 when I was a kid. 
Uh, yep, drive-ins always had a double feature. Code 4 says drive-up theater with a metal speaker that you hung on the window. No Bluetooth, absolutely no Bluetooth. Fat Albert and the Judsons. I love the Judsons. Um, Fat Albert was funny too, but I, the Judsons just really made me laugh. Gumby and Pokey, that's so funny. When my daughter was 16, she asked for a Gumby and Pokey cake, and I had to go out and find those characters in the toy store, and I did it. I made her a Gumby and Pokey cake. That's really funny. Um, but that was quite a little cartoon. And the mini books that you flip the pages to see the little cartoon in the corner. Yep. And flash bulbs on your cameras. Absolutely. Uh, do you remember the little brownie cameras? They were, they looked like a little box. And then there was like a, um, what, what was it? It was like a little cover uh, that flipped up so that the light didn't get down inside the camera. That way it came through the lens and you'd click it and take your pictures. Um, yeah. Dawn says she forgot about those books. Um, let's see. In school, we had the old Ditto Max machines before Xerox machines. Uh, yeah. And then there was also another, I wasn't a Ditto Max, but it was a, um, gosh, I can't think about it. Memory, memoryograph, memoryography machine. Anyway, it would come out with, um, purple ink. Do you remember that? And a lot of our, uh, papers in school was done like that. Uh, all right. These guys are talking about something. I missed it. But anyway, um, Cracker Jacks and decent prizes <laughs> and prizes in your cereal boxes. Do you remember, um, when you as a kid, instead of looking at your phone or, uh, looking up something on Facebook, we used to sit at the table and read the back of the cereal box. And there was usually either a game or a craft or something you could do. Um, so you couldn't wait to finish the cereal so you could cut the cereal box up. Um, it was a lot of fun. Lost in Space was another good one, that's for sure. Uh, the copy paper you used when you typed a letter and took uh, typing class. Carbon paper. Carbon paper. Yep. Mimeograph. That's it, Jim. Thank you. Um, I knew I was along that line somewhere. Uh, code 4, I used to love the smell of ditto paper. <laughs> uh, disposable cameras. Yeah, those uh, those have been around for a while. Uh, do they still even have them? I don't, I don't know. I don't know that I've seen any lately. I remember being really good at jumping rope. And if you had talented friends, you could get three ropes going at once. And that was hard. Absolutely. Um, Sue says she's really enjoying the chat. Um, I'm glad, Sue. I was hoping that you all would have uh, fun with this topic. Um, let's see if I can think of some more things that... Um, how about... Uh, do you all remember whenever you would get uh, a cut um, or an abrasion? Um What's the first thing that your parents brought out to put on that? Do you remember? Kim and I were talking about this earlier today. Um, let's see. I remember when records you could cut out of the cereal box. Yeah, that's true. I'd forgotten totally about that. Uh, the copy machine in school would almost kill you for the smell. Uh, yeah. Um, Monkey blood, monkey betadine, not really betadine, but iodine. That's right, Karen, iodine and mercuricone. And I think the mercuricone was worse than the iodine as far as the stinging. That stuff burnt to high heaven. Rambling Vagabond, thanks for joining in. Glad to see you here. Um, mercuricone or methylate. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, those were the things. Um, I was so grateful when they came out with Bactine. Do you remember Bactine? Uh, that was good for like bug bites. Um, you know, mosquito bites were prevalent in the summertime in Missouri, um, as they are in a lot of other places too. Uh, but you get that little Bactine bottle and you just squeeze it and then spray out some Bactine and you, 
you know, rub it over your mosquito bites and the, the stinging would go away. Loved me some Bactine. Um, then they made uh, backing. Um, not sure. Are you saying Bactine? Uh, yep, that. <laughs> uh, uh, bluing for laundry. Oh my gosh. My grandmother used to use La, Fran La France bluing in every load of clothes that she did. And of course, she didn't have an automatic washing machine. She had a ringer washer. And um, actually, in my first marriage, I ended up using that ringer washer for a while myself. Um, but it, it did. It always seemed to brighten your clothes and make them whiter and brighter. Um, but yeah, Grandma used that faithfully with with every laundry day. I hate a methylate. It burns so bad. Absolutely. We use sweet oil for an earache. Yeah. And um, did you heat it in a spoon? Because that's what my grandmother did. She would take a spoon and um, a match and just warm it slightly and then put it in your ear. Uh, I remember blue ink for laundry. It says code four. Yep. Oh, the days of DDT, no bugs and no fish um, or eagles. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no bugs, but yeah, it did harm the wildlife. That's for sure. And powdered starch. Oh my gosh. Powdered starch. And my aunt would uh, mix it up in a jar and I think it went in the wash with the clothes or was it the rinse? Maybe it was the rinse. I don't know. It's been too long. I don't remember that. And then, uh, and then you had to, you remember you'd get like a soda bottle and a little stopper on the top with the little holes in it. You would fill the bottle with water and you'd, um, you of course dried the clothes on the line and then you sprinkled the clothes, folded them up, rolled them, put them in a plastic bag and stuck them in the refrigerator until the next day or so. And then you would get them out and you would iron them. That's a lot of work. I'm so glad we don't have to do that anymore. I was never so grateful as when they invented permanent press clothing and uh, ironing. That would be my idea of hell on earth. Um, or if when I die and I, if I, if I would go to hell, that's what it would be. A never ending pile of ironing for me to do. Oh my gosh. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Don't get your fingers in the ringer washer. Once my brother got his arm caught in the ringer washer and mom had to pop the emergency um, thing on the side to open the rollers up and get his arm out. Uh, but it didn't break his arm, but he, he, it sure hurt for a while. Flat top men's haircuts. Yep. Um, actually, Doug was just talking about flat tops not long ago. Um, Bobby and Doug got their haircut in Mexico. Um, let's see. On the days of DDT. Let's see. I'm trying to catch up, guys. Castor oil. Um, well, yeah, some women took that when they wanted to go into labor. I don't know of other uses for it, but that's that's what I heard it being used for. Sprinkler on the pop bottle. Absolutely. And bro cream. A little dabble, do ya? <laughs> okay, who ate the worms? <laughs> Um, isn't that in tequila? Um, putting butter on a burn. Yeah, I remember everybody doing that as well. Although it's really not a good thing to do. And we know that now that it, that was the treatment for a burn back then. Uh, it's probably one of the worst things you could do for it. x lux that looked like a candy bar. <laughs> or chewing gum. They had some that was uh, like chewing gum. Aqua Velva. Uh, who didn't love the smell of Aqua Velva? Castor oil was so nasty. What I guess it was just used primarily for like a laxative. I guess I don't know. I don't remember. I remember my mom ironed everything. Yes, yes. And um, you know, as a young girl growing up, I got to iron all the handkerchiefs, all the pillowcases, all the tablecloths, all the flat pieces. I got to iron. Thankfully, she didn't iron sheets, or I'd have been doing that too. Um still castor oil in my system from the 70s. Um, Karen, yes, I think our parents ironed everything. Yeah, I hated that. 
That was the world's worst choy. Fena mint laxative. Oh, I remember those. Um, a small little box. Yeah. Uh, oh my gosh, at Kelly Heller, I remember the X lax that uh, like the chocolate bar. Yeah, and you remember making people making brownies with X lax in them for people they didn't like. Old Spice cologne, absolutely. Um, Karen, my mom did also. Uh, some days here, LOL. High karate, that's a good one. Oh, high karate was a good one. Yep. Um, I had a brother that used to wear that, and I love the smell of high karate. Um, and let's see. Everybody remember bell bottom pants? That was quite the thing in hip huggers. And hip huggers with bell bottoms. <laughs> and how about, okay, here's something. Let's see where to put them. Well, I guess I didn't have them. I had a picture of go-go boots I was going to put up here. Here's something. How many of you have all done that? <laughs> uh, I know my brother talked me into doing it one day. And how about these? Y'all remember trolls? Those used to be quite the thing for a while. And here I got a picture of uh, some Boy Scouts playing mumbly peg. So there, it really happened. How about that? You have to go lay down. We're not going out right yet. I've got two puppies here that um, think they need attention. Go-go boots. Absolutely, go-go boots. That was the big, big thing when I was in high school. Um, bell bottoms, absolutely. Um, Kevin says he still loves bell bottoms. Uh, don't wear bell bottoms when riding a bike. That chain got it every time. Yep, absolutely. It sure would. Uh, but we thought we were really cute when we wore them. Some days here, my dad wore it. And when I was young, yep. Uh, we called trolls wishnicks. That's funny. Metal ice trays. You know what? There's some days when I'd rather have a metal ice tray. I think... Um, we, we've had problems with the um, ice maker in our refrigerator at home, and I'm too cheap to pay for it. So I just got some ice trays out of the cabinet way up high that I've had for years, and they're plastic, um, and they're not really any good. And I had made the comment that I wished I still had a metal ice tray because they worked better. Uh, it seemed like the ice came out of them better. Uh, Don, so true. Then it would tear your pants or put grease all over them. Absolutely. Um, the babies are doing great tonight. Cool. Um, so yeah, let's see. What else can we think of? Um, oh, <laughs> we saw a picture. Y'all remember back in the days where, um, you know, you, you were in a snowy climate and you had boots that you'd worn for two or three years um, and they had maybe a hole or they leaked or they weren't, you know, good and watertight. How many of you ever wore a bread sack over your socks before you put your boots on uh, just to keep your feet dry? <laughs> that's that's uh, something that we used to do. And speaking of snow, when we were kids, um, we had a couple of sleds, you know, the wooden sleds with the metal rails on them. Um, but there were a lot of us kids and there weren't enough sleds to go around and the older kids kind of dominated them sometimes. Uh, we used to get real inventive and take like, uh, my stepdad had this huge, big snow shovel um, and we'd get the snow shovel and sit on it and ride down the hill or get a cardboard uh, box and ride the cardboard box down the hill. Um, we used to just really have a lot of fun and we'd make snow forts and have snowball fights and um, all kinds of things like that. Let's see. Life is joy. We also had ice trays. They worked so well. Yep. Uh, Vicks Vapor Rub. Yeah, I, you just can't make it through a winter with a cold without Vicks Vapor Rub. Um, you put that, you rub that on your chest and put it underneath your nose every night. It really helped you to breathe. Um, and then of course there was always chicken soup during the day. Um, 
for you to eat until you felt better. Still use Vicks. Absolutely. Clackers. Clackers. Um, yeah, clackers were something. And water beds. Absolutely. And then there was that thing Kim was talking about today. You remember it, um, it had a round circle of plastic that you put your foot in. And then there was like a... Um, another plastic piece that came out from that. And then on the end of it was a ball. Um, and so you had the idea was to swing it around and hop. Um, and it was kind of like jumping rope only you were jumping a ball. Um, I don't remember what those were called. Does anybody else remember? You remember making purses out of bell bottom pant legs? Um, I never did, but I'm sure that somebody has. Put peanuts in your Coke bottle. Yeah, that was funny. That that was that could end up being a mess sometimes. Um, remember the big glass balls on the end of a string? Some called them clackers. We called them knockers. Uh, yeah, I do remember those. Yeah, yeah. And they just clacked back and forth. Uh, Life is joy. I also used to have a water bed. Green in the wintertime until the dog unplugged the heater. Um, yeah, I, I, I had a waterbed for many years. My husband and I slept in, um, but then after so many years, it started getting back aches and I had to get rid of it. Uh, but I think uh, almost all of us have probably had a waterbed at one point in our life. Kelly, uh, we were talking about those today. Yep. Uh, Dawn says, remember when you could put 11 hefty bags of trash out? My brother put wood over a pile and did jumps on his bike. He's still alive. That's hilarious. Um, I don't. I was trying to think of my my brother never made ramps or anything like that. Um, clapper balls. Sometimes they would explode. And yo-yos. Absolutely loved yo-yos. Um, oh. Daryl says he was yo-yo king. All right, Daryl, you're going to have to prove that point. We'll have to go get a yo-yo now and see just how good you really are. Um, my brother was pretty good with them. He could do the walk the dog and all that good stuff with it. Um, <coughs> so we'll see what Daryl can do. Maybe I'll take um, a, a little video and we'll have some new content. <laughs> That would be a lot of fun. Um, what other strange things? Moon shoes. Do you all remember moon shoes? Those were the most hilarious things. Um, so mine were, they're not anything like what they've got them like now. It was just like a flat piece of metal with a spring and another flat piece of metal under that. And you had elastic um, hoops on, on the top of it. And you just slipped your foot in it and you jumped up and down on it. And then there was pogo sticks, hula hoops. Yep, hula hoops were fun. Moon pies. Moon pies are still around today. Those things will never go away. I think that's a, kind of um, a standard. Parachute pants. <laughs> yeah, those were a lot of fun to wear too, weren't they? And fizzies. Yep, and the little tablets you put in and made a drink with the fizzies. Those were fun. Uh, moon pies were the best, says Daryl or Kim. One, um, yep. And then when your stomach got sick, you could just get an Alka Seltzer out. Do you everybody remember Alka Seltzer? Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. Um, uh, how about all of those commercial jingles? Put your favorite commercial jingle down there. I will make you a ramp tomorrow for the e-bike jump. I want to see Bobby do that one. Okay. That should be a lot of fun. Um, hey, can I do a pogo stick with no hands? I forgot about that. Yeah. And how many of you ever walked on stilts? Um, that was always a lot of fun. I was pretty good about that. And then um, also we used to, um, this is what poor kids do in the summertime. We used to get, you remember those electric company, great big, huge um, wooden wheels that they'd roll the cable on? Well, we had like three of those and we had a huge backyard um, and we would get those things out and stand on top of them and roll them, you know, walk on it, walk with them. Uh, and that was a lot of fun. We, we would spend hours doing that. 
and learning to do little tricks on them. Um, we were little daredevils a little bit. Mood rings. Yeah, mood rings are, uh, they were quite the thing for a while. And hey, I could do a pogo stick with no hands. I forgot that. Well, okay, Dawn, we got to get a pogo stick now too. We're just going to have, you know, a little, I don't know, a daredevil theater here. Um, good and plenty, good and plenty. <laughs> I know, life is a joy. <laughs> uh, let's see, not me, LOL. I can't hardly walk much less uh, get on those things. All right, Daryl. Fine and dandy. Jim was good on stilts. I bet he was. I, I can imagine that he was. Um, they were a lot of fun. It's always uh, fun to see those um, carnival walkers on stilts whenever you go to a carnival. How many remember uh, the good old days of carnivals? In fact, my hometown has a, um, when I grew up in Hannibal Page, and someone recently posted some pictures of uh, the carnival for the fall festival we had a carnival in town every year and it used to be up and down broadway the main street uh and it would be there for like what four or five days and it, it was just the best time and now when they have one in town they jam it all down in a small little corner um in a not so nice part of the downtown area and it's just not the same as when it was all stretched out on broadway um it was just a lot of fun. Uh, let's see. All right. So, um, what time is it? It's 536. It's probably getting dark outside. Um, I can't think of a whole lot of other stuff, guys. Anybody else got anything they'd like to add? Some something you'd like to go down memory lane with um how about bouffant hairdos <laughs> uh, we talked about uh flat tops um there were bouffant hairdos and you remember when everybody used to tease their hair and put it in a french roll and all of those kinds of things carnivals used to be great absolutely um they were a lot of fun next thursday live daredevil night stay tuned that would be absolutely hilarious. We need to try to come up with something. I think that's good content. Um, everybody would laugh their butts off. I think it would be a lot of fun. So, um, all right, guys. Any other ideas out there? If if not, I think we're going to AMC Pacer. Oh, the AMC Pacer. How about a Gremlin? Or how about the uh, your brain is stretched those glasses women wore that were shaped like cat eyes yeah my mom had a pair of those um actually about the time i was born there they were kind of funny looking back then um what about dialing the phone and trying to make it go fast that just didn't happen you dial real fast and then go back really slow <laughs> and you dial and go back really slow it was kind of irritating Hair dryers from a vacuum cleaner. Um, I don't remember hair dryers from a vacuum cleaner. I do, however, remember, you know, you had your hair dryer in a little box, in a, in a round little box, um, and you'd pull it out and pull it up, and it, it would be like a cap that would fit over your head, um, and you'd sit under the hair dryer for 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how thick your hair was. Uh, so, yeah, we had those at home. Uh, whenever you couldn't afford to go to the beauty shop. Um, we will have an ambulance standing by for our daredevil day. Yeah, I think that's probably a very good idea. Um, we'll have to see what we can come up with, though. It should be interesting. Ooh, who used the vacuum cleaner on their hair just for fun? Not me. I was never allowed to do anything like that. Um, no. I, I don't think, I don't ever remember doing it. I don't know. I might have. Who knows? It's been too long ago. I don't remember everything about my childhood. Uh, glasses that were shaped by cat eyes. I think I've read everything. 
My birthday girl says hi. Hey, hi, Eugene Paps. This is my son and birthday girl is my daughter, Stephanie. So tell her I said hello. Glad to see you on here, son. Um, hope you're doing well and um, that you're continuing to heal and get uh, healthy again and um, hopefully get back to work really soon. Um, that is Daryl. I never use a vacuum on my hair. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so anyway, uh, that's about all I can think of tonight. Uh, we've been on here for about an hour and 10 minutes now. So uh, I want to thank everybody that's participated this evening. You've made this evening a lot of fun for me as well. And um, I hope that you'll come back next week and join in the fun. Um, Southside Girl. Southside was the fun side of town where we live. Um, quiet, Ziki. So anyway, um, just thanks. And um, please for, hit that thumbs up button for me if you would. I'd really appreciate it. It'll help get um, get my content out so other people can see it. Uh, and if y'all haven't seen my uh, recent video about the new little portable washer that I've got, uh, it's really doing well. And a lot of people have had good comments on it. So you might take a look at that for me too. Um, thanks, Kelly. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. Um, Daryl and Kim, thank you for being here too. And Code 4 for Life. Um, everybody, I just really appreciate your support and, uh, I will see you next week. Have a good night. Bye.